Scheduling in sales routes is really easy. All you do is you open up the menu and select the schedule tab. This will show you a calendar where you can select the date for the routes you want to see. And this will show you all of the routes that are available to you um, as a sales rep. Back in the office, you'll notice on this left hand side that it shows um, the routes that are available on the back end. Your office can actually specify not only uh, which type of user can see a, uh, an appointment or a route, but also uh, even teams of sales reps. So on your sales app, it's only going to show you the routes that are available to you. Up in the top right here, it's going to show um, how many spots are available on each route and also the technician here who's going to be servicing them. And so if I drill into Jimmy Kimmel here, it's going to show me all of the appointments that are currently scheduled for his route, as well as um, all of the uh, availabilities. Anything that's gray is an available spot that you can schedule on. Anything with a white background is either already been scheduled for or is a blocked appointment. So you'll see this one that's called lunch. It shows up as lunch over on the left hand side as well. Um, and that's a block spot, so it says not available. You'll also notice that there's sometimes, if your office utilizes this anyways, uh, AT only or AM or PM only. Uh, any spot that says AT only or AM only or PM only is we're going to require a minimum time window. So an AT only, for example, I think requires an eight hour time window uh, as a minimum. So you can only schedule in that spot if you're scheduling someone with at least an eight hour time window. All right, but uh, let's pretend that I want to schedule a customer. So I'm just going to click on one of these available spots and it's going to bring up the schedule appointment dialog. And I can either choose a new customer or an existing customer. If I choose a new customer, I just type a last name into this field here. And this will not only schedule the appointment, but also as soon as I finish it, it's going to create a blank customer card with this customer's last name in it. So you can reserve a spot before you create a customer or sign up in a digital agreement. And if you just use a last name, it'll automatically create a customer record for you. Uh, in this case, I'm also going to put in a uh, phone number um, as well as a map code if your company still uses those. The date's going to be hard coded in and also the time is going to be preset to whatever time you set. Uh, you can obviously change that time window to be whatever you want it to be. Bigger time windows are always better. Um, and then just one thing to point out, because this is a really common mistake, but I remember that 12 p.m. is the afternoon and 12 a.m. is midnight. So make sure to watch out for that because you're going to undoubtedly put 12 a.m. and wonder why it's not going to schedule your appointment. So uh, you set a time window here and then from there you can also specify specific insects that the customer is complaining about and put in notes. The notes that are in this section are specific to the initial appointment, so they won't show up on future recurring services. Uh, if you want something to show up permanently on a customer's account, make sure to put them in the customer's permanent notes inside the customer card. Uh, but these notes here will show up just for the first appointment and are great for specifying things like ants in the kitchen or wasp nest in the eve. These are things that the technician will see uh, when he goes out to service the home. Once you're finished filling all that out, just click Schedule Appointment, and this will automatically schedule an appointment back in the office. So we can see here on the left that that 11 to 1 just filled in with the greens. And on the right, it gave me a confirmation. And uh, please, please, please pay attention to the notification and the confirmation text that you get back from pest routes after scheduling an appointment. Sometimes uh, it'll tell you that the appointment wasn't available, and if you just skim over it and don't read it and think that you've scheduled your appointment, then uh, you may be disappointed when the appointment's not there. So please make sure that you get a confirmation uh, that it was scheduled uh, uh, properly. And once you do that, it's all ready to go. Uh, you'll notice now that I've got that 11 to 1 filled in with the green appointment. Um, and if I go to my customers list, I'm also going to have this blank customer that's been created um, so that I can go in and then fill out all the customer's information and sign up the agreement and everything. Let me go back to the schedule real quick and I'll show you a couple other cool things. Um, if I drill into the appointment, this will allow me to edit things like the insects that are targeted and also the uh, notes that were left. So if you need to add a note or adjust a note, you can really easily do that just by drilling into the appointment and editing it. You can also really quickly jump to the customer's uh, card just by clicking view customer and that'll take you straight into this. So you can go in and uh, see the customer's uh, information and service information. And then you can also cancel the appointment from here. So if they uh, call in and can't do the appointment, uh, please cancel the appointment here uh, so that the office knows not to send a technician out. 
If you want to reschedule an appointment, uh, all you have to do actually is just schedule the customer again. So, uh, and if it's an initial, if if you're rescheduling, if you schedule a customer that already has an appointment scheduled, it'll automatically just reschedule the appointment. So let me show you that real quick. I'm just going to click on the two o'clock spot. I'm going to select existing customer. I'm going to choose that customer that we had already scheduled, and that's going to fill in all the information. And then I'm rescheduling it for between two and four. And I can add my insects again, and also the notes. And when I schedule this appointment, because they already had a previous appointment, it's automatically going to reschedule the appointment. So I don't know if you noticed, but over on the left, it moved them from the 11 o'clock spot to the 2 o'clock spot and went ahead and rescheduled them. So to reschedule a customer, all you have to do is just schedule them again, and it'll automatically reschedule their appointment. But, and it's also important to note that you can't reschedule a completed appointment. So if they've already completed their initial appointment, you can't cancel or reschedule it. The office has to take care of it from there. The last thing I want to show you is the simple view. Um, the first three routes up at the top here is uh, Jimmy Kimmel and the two no text assigned. Those are physical routes. But at the bottom of each day, we also always put the simple view. In the simple view, it actually just shows all of the available time slots across all of the routes that are available to you. So that way you can see at a glance without having to drill into each route um, which spots are available and book a spot um, straight from there. And then the one last thing I'll also show you is the map page. If your company does routing by map page, you can put in a specific map page, and this will filter the list to only show you the routes that are available within that map page. And some companies require this, so uh, if your office requires map pages for scheduling, uh, that's how you specify which map page that you're scheduling in. And then you can also really quickly uh, jump between days to find uh, available spots in the future. Anyways, that's how easy scheduling appointments are in, in sales routes. Uh, we also send out confirmations as soon as appointments are completed. So you'll get a push notification um, every time one of your appointments is completed so that you're always in the know about which appointments have been scheduled and which customers have been scheduled. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.